All right, Jay Aaron Sebia here with Coach JDs. Coach, what's going on, man? Oh, doing good. Just uh, getting a day of sparring in today. We've got two more days this week that we'll be sparring and um, looking forward to that and got three good guys in camp. And what we're doing now is really this is our big week of sparring. Then next week we will taper off and then travel. So we're looking forward to it. So here, here's a question. It's probably a little bit of a goofy question, but how does how does Deontay spar with people um, without like without throwing at 100 percent? Like even if he throws at 70 percent, he might. He I might mean, not. no, they, they 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 spar. They all spar at a high level, and uh, they have headgears on, and they have uh, 18 to 20 ounce gloves on. So um, you know, there's that. But they're still sparring at a high level, and they're trying to get the work in. The only way to get the work in is to spar at a high level. So I mean, like. You know, not that I not that I want you to, to divulge any information that happens in sparring, but if Deontay's throwing hard punches, I would imagine that people are taking some hard punches and, yeah. and going down sometimes. No, I mean it, it happens. You know, you have you have different situations, but the guys that we bring in are really good, and we bring in several of them. So there's uh, there's enough uh, where they can share the workload. So, for example, if Deontay were to do six rounds one day, and you've got three guys, they're doing two rounds apiece. So they're relatively fresh while Deontay works through three very good guys, and it makes Deontay all the more better. What are the uh, what are some of the adjustments that we're looking to make for Luis Ortiz? I know the last time out there was a little bit of a uh, little bit of a scare, I guess, in the seventh round. Um, I would imagine we're trying to avoid that. What adjustments do we need to make in order to make that? Uh, well, I think it's just happen. it's just there's a familiarity with with Ortiz now that Deontay's been in the ring with him. Deontay's IQ will 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 make a lot of those adjustments. We've also looked at the film, and we will make adjustments, and Ortiz's people will make adjustments. So it really comes down to. You know who does what they do best each guy's got a way they do things and and each guy's going to try to execute those things but we feel very confident that the adjustments we're making are going to be beneficial and just you know the more you see somebody the more you see southpaws uh the the the, the better it is because that's something that you don't really get a lot of in your career nobody fights 40 fights and fights 20 southpaws it doesn't happen you may get a one here and one there so uh, you're at a disadvantage that way. But now that this is a rematch and Deontay has fought Ortiz before, you know, he's seen it. It's in the it's in the memory bank, it's in the computer. Do you remember what you told Deontay coming back into the corner? Was it the seventh that he got hurt? Seven. Seven. Seventh. Seventh right? that so he, yeah, he got he got buzzed. It was like he was in a tornado. Um, I say, you know, different than getting hurt. Hurt is where you don't know where you are. Deontay made some very, very good moves. Uh, while he was in those, <coughs> excuse me, while he was in those moments, right. um, he kept Ortiz close to him. He didn't give Ortiz the range to throw those shots. At the, when the bell sounded, Deontay came straight back to our corner. Uh, so he knew where he was. He knew all those things. So um, you know, it was definitely uh, a difficult moment against a great fighter. But Deontay got through that moment, and then he just came back even stronger. So what I told him after the round uh, was, I thought that Ortiz. I thought that Ortiz, to a certain degree, had had, had given all he had, right. and I thought that the minutes rest would give Ortiz about a minute where he was going to try to come out and 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 do something big. So I thought he had about a minute left in him, and after that, it would be it would be uh, all Deontay. The other thing that I thought was, this is your moment. You know, if you remember, Joshua had his big moment against Klitschko right before that, and and this was kind of Deontay's big moment to show. He could overcome adversity, and he proved that he could. That, w that was my exact point. Like, looking back at that fight, obviously I do a little research before I come <laughs> here, watch that fight a bunch, and I, don't, I never caught that because when they cut to him coming into the corner, it right. just happens real quick. Right. And you said that. You said, listen, Deontay, Joshua had his moment. This is your moment to where you've got to dig deep right now. I got chills saying it right <laughs> now. It's an awesome thing to say. Uh, Sometimes I, I don't remember. I, you know, <laughs> none of these things I don't think about them. You know, uh, before or after or anything, it's just in in the moment what I think may help my guy. So, how do you? I guess you kind of answered the question, but like, how did how do you know as a trainer that that's something? I mean, you you've only got maybe 50 seconds at right. most to be able to talk to him. That that's something that's going to connect with him on a level and fire him up. And it fired me up just watching. Yeah. Like, how, how do you how do you know that? Well, you got to remember we we've been together since you know his first day in a boxing gym and we've come up together, so we've got a lot of history. I know him very, very well. He knows me very, very well, and we work, uh, we work together, and uh, we're, you know, we're kind of partners in this whole journey, so he knows that he can trust what I say, and, and whatever he tells me, I know I can trust that. Do you think that uh, 
so far there's been maybe reports that Fury is like getting kind of cold feet on that rematch, uh, assuming all goes well against Ortiz. Do you think that that's a fight that he wants to, to run back? Um, I mean, I, you know, I'm only concerned about Ortiz. I have two hats that I wear, the manager hat and the trainer hat. Right. The, 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 the trainer hat is the one I'm wearing now. <laughs> he says there is no Fury fight without the Ortiz fight. So we got to be ready for the Ortiz fight. The manager hat says, you know, that is certainly something we're looking forward to down the road, but we got to get, we got to, we got to do the job at hand. And it's, you know, nobody's ever had an easy time with Luis Ortiz. The guy is a great fighter. He does everything well. He, he boxes well, he punches well. Southpaw, hugely decorated amateur, uh, undefeated pro, except for when he fought Deontay Wilder. And I think Ortiz thought that after the fight, a lot of opportunities would come his way because, you know, because he performed well. And I think the opposite was true. Even less people wanted to fight him what? than was the case. So Deontay actually has blessed him again with this opportunity and said, you know what? Nobody wants to fight you. Let's do it again. Well, I, I, I would imagine, because online I read a lot of the comments and there's a lot of people that are, that I would imagine they're Joshua fans or I would imagine they're Fury fans. They're, they're certainly naysayers that say that Ortiz at this point is past it. He's washed up. Um, obviously, you guys are training for the best version of Ortiz. Sure. Do you think that there's anything to that? Do you think that Ortiz is uh, trending downward at this point in his career? No, I think I think he's Ortiz and he can fight. <laughs> if, 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 if he had nothing left or if he was over the hill, why are none of these guys wanting to fight him? Go down the list of heavyweights in the top 15. None of them have, they, they've all had the opportunity, right. but none of them have stepped up. None of them have wanted the opportunity. It that was, tells you right there. It would seem like it'd be a good scalp, a good notch on your belt to have. Luis it, it, would, it, would, it would be an enormous fight for anybody, but nobody wants that fight. Deontay's the only one that wants that fight.